folks so i assume that you just downloaded the gpu z and msi after burner after google it and you installed it on your computer and you put it on the desktop as i have it right here definitely gpu z is a neat tool to have when you're overclocking as well as msi after burner msi after burner is not necessary but uh, i will show you how to use it in this video tutorial as well Plus, we're going to use the Catalyst Control Center, which comes with the AMD drivers with your Radeon video card. Keep in mind, the design of the Catalyst Control Center might change, and but the idea will be just the same. You're looking for AMD Overdrive technology, which allows you to overclock your video card, or something similar, which will show you some GPU clock, memory clock, temperature, uh, fan speed rotation as well as some values as you can see that you can apply on the bottom so if the design will be changed this is for something that you're looking for for those values somewhere in the catalyst control center under the AMD drive drivers so enable graphic overdrive and disable graphic uh, uh, overdrive allows you to control some values as again it may be changed but you got an idea you need to make sure you can you will be enabled to control the fan control control the power control settings as well as control the gpu clock and memory clock as i'm showing you right now as you can see this video card comes with 1100 megahertz on gpu clock and 1200 megahertz on the video memory gddr5 clock and if um you're going to click check mark and enable manual fan control you allow to control your fan manually otherwise it will stay just automatically and video card will apply by itself uh, power control settings always in the center which is zero by default but i suggest you to put it all the way to 20 on radeon 7870 or at least by 10 percent when you're starting overclocking, this is the first thing what you want to do. You want to apply 20% on the power control settings. The first thing what you want to do, you want to play with the GPU clock when you're overclocking your video card. And I suggest you to apply by 10 megahertz and then test it by 10 megahertz and GPU and then test it by 10 megahertz and GPU and test it like I just showed you ap applying some frequencies to GPU increasing some frequencies on GPU and memory not going to give you any good because it's going to give you some trouble when you're going to troubleshoot so you don't want to apply those values together if you're a beginner at the overclocking for a particular gigabyte radeon 7870 video card i suggest you to set at least 1150 megahertz and start and on the memory try 1300 megahertz or even 1400 megahertz my i got lucky and my video card could hold that that high frequencies which is 1400 megahertz on gddr5 if you cannot hold 1400 megahertz Try to do 1300 megahertz first, and after applying this 1150 on GPU and 1400 megahertz on GDDR5, try to test those frequencies in your favorite games and see if you can see any artifacts, dots on the screen, or freezing. If not, go ahead try and apply some more. Try to apply 1180 and 1450 megahertz on the memory clock and 1180 megahertz on the GPU apply test it with your favorite few favorite games and see if it's going to freeze up or not if it will freeze up just go go back to 1150 and maybe apply 1160 if 1150 will be stable and then 1170 as again by 10 megahertz step on the memory i suggest you apply by 20 megahertz step when you're overclocking frequencies increasing frequencies of your memory when you increasing frequencies on a GPU, I suggest you to apply by 10 megahertz at least and click apply button and every 10 megahertz you need to test it in your favorite games. I'm not going to do it in, on this video tutorial, but this is what you need to do. Every time after apply button you need to test it frequencies. And until you will find out the maximum stable frequencies, it could be 1200, for some people it could be 1230 and uh, for some even 1250 and 
even for some 1300 as again overclocking experience is um, not going to be the same on every single GPU even if it's going to be just the same video card which is Radeon 7870 it's up to you and every single chip GPU chip has its own overclocking abilities so it's great to start with 1150 as you can see I have it over here and on the memory since my memory was stable at 1400 I'm applying by 20 megahertz increase like I just told you and 1420 I'm going to click apply test those frequencies if it's okay then I'm going to apply some more maybe up all the way drivers allow me to 1450 but before 1450 let me go ahead and apply 20 megahertz rule increase test it and if it will be stable maybe 1450 because it's a maximum as again fan you want to at least put at 50 percent on the fan rotation speed and uh, i suggest you great idea to put at 60 but for some folks maybe 60 will be too loud so 50 will be just fine on this radeon from gigabyte because it has three fans and it will be pretty uh, pretty much uh, cool on uh, software overclocking Okay, 1450 was my maximum overclock as well when I'm clicking apply button I'm running my as again favorite game testing the frequencies make sure it's not freezing there is no dots like artifacts on the screen no lines on the screen and also I'm watching my temperature and how to watch your temperature I will show you um, just in a few minutes when we're going to start with MSI afterburner that tool comes in handy because it can uh, monitor your temperature in real time so as you can see I'm finding by applying by 10 megahertz frequencies I'm finding my uh, best uh, um, overclocking stable frequencies and in the game and when it's going to freeze up I will back up maybe by 20 megahertz um, decrease and test it again if it will be stable maybe increase by 10 megahertz again and see if it's going to freeze up or not but why uh, after freeze up you are decreasing by minus 20 megahertz because it's going to be safe even if it's by 11 let's say or 12 you will be just fine that gap 20 megahertz are just fine so you can see from 1200 apply to 1180 and if it's stable after apply I test it then maybe I'm going to increase 10 megahertz and uh, if I will increase 10 megahertz and it will fail then I will back up to 1180 all right let's go ahead and learn what we can do with MSI afterburner MSI afterburner is a great great tool for overclocking g-forces and radions the on particular video card there is no core voltage uh, manipulation but on some 7970 you will be able to or on some R9 280x video cards as you can see on the right I see some temperature statistics and some other stats like fan speed core clock and etc over here is again I can apply my memory clock and I can apply my core clock as well pretty much the same ideas as we used in a catalyst uh, control center so keep that in mind those uh, three um, values like core clock memory clock and fan speed are um, required when you're overclocking your video card and uh, at any software that you're using you're going to look for that um, values and it could be even sapphire tricks which is nice software as well under one of the tabs you even if the MSI after burn are going to change the design you know exactly what you're going to look for core clock which is GPU clock uh, memory clock which is GDDR5 clock and fan speed so your video card is going to be cool so you can apply it and manually control the fan speed rotation percentage okay uh, again I'm clicking real quick apply and applying my rule by 10 megahertz on GPU and 20 megahertz on the memory and then after each apply if you're playing with the MSI afterburner you want to test it in your favorite games okay under the options over here you can see under the monitoring tab I can click show uh, in on screen display disable or enable by check mark it 
and when I'm going to run the game and if MSI Afterburner is running on the background it will show the statistics to me in real time on the screen and I can even ch uh, choose what corner by default it will be on the left side but you can choose left side, right side, bottom corner bottom left, bottom right and even the color of the stats it's very useful and I suggest you to make sure see your GPU temperature at least click it as a uh, check in on the uh, on screen uh, display so you're going to see when you're going to play your games that's pretty much it folks thank you so much for watching as again my name is alex morose and this was a beginner video tutorial how to overclock radeon 7870 video card please thumbs up or like it if you're watching it on youtube any comments are welcome uh, and keep in mind uh, I'm extremely busy producing some more tutorials so uh, my time on response will be not immediate and please subscribe for more video tutorials so you're not going to miss any thank you so much and have a great day bye happy overclocking folks